So our sponsor is um, Aja Rensi, I mean, <laughs> Aja Mia Chikovska of uh, Rensi, and she's gonna now say a few words. So, Corey, good job. <laughs> uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I represent another difficult, rather Polish name. Uh, my name is Asia Mitkowska. Uh, I am the interim um, CEO of Renzi, and uh, today I am representing the Renzi leadership team. Uh, it is my pleasure to talk with you today about Renzi and its relationship with IROTS technology and the IROTS consortium. We are in um, fascinating position of certain duality uh, of uh, having IROTS on board. Um, as you know, this is the 14th IROTS UGM, and we are very glad to see you uh, all in person. The past two years of the UGM were held virtually because of the pandemic. And I feel that this meeting is even more special since we all have a chance to actually connect in person. Not everyone could have been here, and we have some online um, participants as well. So hello to our online virtual participants. Uh, we are glad to have you as well, but we are missing you here in beautiful Louvain. Um, I also wanted to use this opportunity to thank our gracious hosts, including Ingrid Barsen Barsenial Roig and Paul Borgerma Borgermans. I'm hoping I did not butcher those names too much. Um, here in Belgium. We appreciate your hospitality, help in organization, and sharing your beautiful campus with us. After all, not every day we get to have lunch in the, um, in, in the castle from, I think, 15th or so century. It's definitely a treat. Um, the University of Louvain uh, was founded in 1425, so it has a rich history. And uh, it is one of the, uh, of the oldest and most respected university, universities in Europe. I had a chance of walking around the town and this campus, and I am impressed by the weight of history, charm, and growth of the city and the university, the organization and friendliness of everyone I talked to. I'm grateful for the opportunity to visit, meet, and learn. And there is something to be said about broadening horizons when we visit foreign countries after all. Speaking about growth and broadening horizons, it is appropriate to mention IROTS. We all know that uh, IROTS has uh, some storied background, originating at SDSC and then eventually morphing into IROTS and moving from California to North Carolina in 2008. The IROTS consortium was launched in 2013 with Renzi as its founding member, and we are now glad to have 30 plus members. Uh, I believe Terrell was providing this overview of the growth yesterday. Renzi, or Renaissance Computing Institute, and someone asked me where the name came from. Well, imagine Leonardo da Vinci as a representation of the Renaissance man, um, who was a nexus of various talents and disciplines. This is where actually Renzi's name came into play. Because in 2004, Renzi was created as a hub to, faci to facilitate collaborations for three IREA universities, North Carolina, um, UNC University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, North Carolina State University, and Duke University. For those who uh, had a chance to visit. Those are really, really closely relocated in the area called RTP or Research Triangle Park. Uh, so it's literally 20 or 40 minutes away to each. Um, Rensi's focus has been on developing and deploying data science cyber infrastructure that helps researchers in academia, government, and business use data to drive discoveries, innovate, make informed decisions, and spur economic development. We specialize in interdisciplinary collaboration, community building, innovative technology, and people-centric design. And IROTS fits in all of these categories. Currently, Renzi leads or participates in 16 national data science programs, 10 data focus environmental science applications, 13 data focus domain specific applications, 
10 data science infrastructure projects, four data science technology um, knowledge networks, and 13 experimental cyber infrastructure projects and programs. Many of these projects utilize IROTS, so we are not only a sponsor, but we're also our users. Also, a little over a year ago, Rancy launched the internship program, and IROTS team has been championing several uh, project, intern projects this spring and summer. Uh, yesterday, we heard a little bit about those projects from Corey. Also yesterday, um, Terrell mentioned that IROTS participates in many research projects as part of IROTS RENC mission. Today, I will not talk about all of the projects that we have underway that uh, use IROTS, as the list is quite extensive, but I will call out a few here, admittedly my personal favorites. First, we have a portal system that we use regularly in our research projects, which we call Helix. Helix is specialized for different research purposes. Examples include Brainy project, which houses neurological imagery, and HydroShare, which allows users to find, analyze, and share water data. EduHelix is a version of Helix that we have used for multiple large classes that are part of our data science concentration and which is deployed reliably at scale by hundreds of students at the same time. Another example is an astrophysics project called Resolve, which uses helix to house massive amounts of night sky imagery. Just imagine that. So, as you can see, uh, Rancy is devoted to building, using, supporting, improving, and sustaining open source software packages that can be utilized for many data science purposes. So this consortium is important to RANCI and it is important to UNC Chapel Hill. I want to thank you all for attending this conference. And I look forward to hearing more of the fascinating work that is being accomplished in the IROTS community. We've heard some great stories yesterday we continue to hear stories today. Uh, Martin, I really did enjoy your talk on boots on the ground. I do have ex myself experience in wet lab and dealing with data from your perspective. So it was very refreshing um, perspective and an incentive to think of bottom up uh, building, you know, one pebble at a time, one desktop connected to another desktop, one lab connected to another lab bottom up. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing more of stories of your of your stories uh, today. Uh, I'm genuinely thrilled to be able to attend this meeting. So thank you all, and bedankt. All right. Thank you.